Tom was a son, partner, brother and friend. Two years ago he lost his life, knocked down just yards from his home after a night out. While his loved ones were grieving, the legal process was taking its time. We were made aware that the offender could actually still drive, he could um, still basically carry on his life as normal really until um, all the court dates came up. But obviously we're going through this absolute heartbreak and trying to come to terms with what's actually happened to then know that this person is has killed someone and is still allowed to, to drive until a court bans them. That's what we found so difficult um, and potentially could be still putting other people's lives at risk. After hitting Tom, the offender drove off and burned his car to hide the evidence. He was arrested and charged, but his licence was not taken away until almost a year later, when he appeared in Crown Court and was jailed for 10 months for perverting the course of justice, driving while unfit through drink and failing to stop at the scene of a collision. The family came up with the idea of Tom's Law, which would give police the power to suspend someone's licence from the moment an offence is committed. After a slow start, their petition gained huge support, recently passing 100,000 signatures, which means it will be debated in Parliament. It suddenly went ballistic. It was just amazing watching the numbers just literally ticking over, just ticking and ticking and ticking, and it was yeah. just amazing um, to watch. While nothing can bring Tom back, Christina says the campaign has been a source of strength and could lead to real significant change. There are um, so many other families in our situation who are also trying to do other petitions as well, all with regards to drink driving, um, hit and run sentencing. So it's just trying to not only doing this for Tom, but doing this for you know future families who unfortunately will be in our situation. Responding to the petition, the Department for Transport said the government is committed to reducing road casualties and supporting responsible road users by prosecuting the few who make the roads less safe for the many. What do you think Tom would have made of all this? And do you think he would be proud of, of what you're doing? I hope he would be proud. I think he would think it's probably a lot of fuss. <laughs> he, he's, he was not one for, I don't think, for really putting himself out there, so to speak. So I think he would probably feel it's a bit, <laughs> a bit strange, but I think he would be proud. He'd definitely be proud of Christina. The next step in the family's fight is to take their case to MPs in the House of Commons. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Plymouth.